December, January 6th. We got a good amount of snow. Got the salt trucks out. Spent about 20 minutes shoveling myself or pushing the snow out of my driveway so I can get out of the driveway. <clears throat> and it's a slow, slow ride to work. Today is going to be, I guess I'll do a salty on religion drive, morning drive. Look, there's too much snow in my car. I cannot get the snow in my truck. My truck is too big, I cannot get the snow in my truck. Freedom of religion or freedom from religion. And I think, I think that you can have that, that both exist at the same time. There is freedom of religion and there's freedom from religion in that people who, who think that they are exercising their freedom from religion are actually exercising their freedom of religion. Let me give you an example. Now, the common I guess the, the 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 socially accepted definition of religion is belief in a deity, belief in a god, a higher being, a higher force. Uh, George Lucas, uh, the, the the force, uh, is a, a religion in its own right. Belief that something else controls the environment or. Or, or binds or you know whatever it is a an explanation of how things work why things work and people who believe in that that's their religion reeling you back into reality people who aren't religious or who don't believe in a higher being or in higher God will either openly accept or reluctantly accept I wouldn't say reluctantly or, or casually accept science as the way of the world and, and nothing higher than science dictates how the world behaves and, and you can predict how things will happen based on quote unquote science. <clears throat> but therein lies the belief system. Right? Now you now you've introduced a belief system out of a non belief system. Does that make sense? They don't believe in a God, in a higher being or in higher force that that dictates how things happen, but they believe that you know the forces of nature, the forces of physics uh, that govern how things behave, how you know how the trees grow, um, why the snow falls, uh, how your combustion engine works. You know that's all science, and, and that's true. You know there is a quote unquote science to all how all that works, but that's where their level of belief ends. Christians or other other uh, religions say, well, yes, that is true, but a higher being set all that in motion. <clears throat> I'm breaking into this video with this video, and I want to talk about belief systems. Now, why do you or I or anybody believe something because somebody told you, because you observed it, uh, or because you just kind of feel that's the way things are. So belief systems are developed from experiences and, and what people teach us or, if you prefer, indoctrinate us into believing. <clears throat> And it's no different with science, and it's no different with uh, standard religious beliefs. Religious, as far as like God and and, and uh, Jesus and all that. 
So when people say they're not religious, they're either not intellectually honest with themselves or they don't quite understand what 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 they def you know or, or they don't define religion as a belief in in something you know they they define religion as having to have a higher god or a higher being um, I used to I used to observe that people had more faith <laughs> uh, I know it's been a, a debate lately more faith in the the post office than they do in a god uh, and, and you ask them, well, why don't you believe in God? Well, I don't see him. Well, you know, do you see your mail being delivered? You know, how do you know what happens? Well, you know, the mail just comes. I, I put a stamp in the, on the letter and I send it. I put it in the mailbox and, and a guy picks it up and it gets, you know, the, the, it gets to the other end. You know, my friend or whoever I'm selling, sending the, the letter to tells me they got the letter. Or they send me a letter back telling me they got the letter. Cool. So that's an observation. And somebody told you, well, if you put a stamp on it, put an address on it, and you put it in the mailbox, it'll get to the other side. That's, you know, that's a belief. You you believe, you trust, you have faith that when you do that, your letter is going to get to the other end. That's, you know, the, that same thought process can be applied to a religious system where you pray. And when you pray, things happen. You know, you pray to be healed and you feel better. Well, you know, cause and effect. Um, and when it doesn't happen, you know, people who, who, who don't have a religious faith, religious... Uh, I, for the sake of having to repeat myself, I... I now, I now, for the rest of the video, I'm going to refer to religion as uh, faith in a higher being. So people who aren't religious uh, would claim that because you prayed and you didn't get it, your prayers weren't answered. Well, the corollary to that would be many times I've prayed and I didn't get something, but it turns out I was glad I didn't get it. <laughs> uh, so my prayers, in essence, were answered, but the answer was no. Uh, so that's my explanation, and well, my prayer uh, worked. You know, it, it worked the way it was supposed to work. Uh, and, you know, people. Some people don't like that explanation, but it is an explanation. Just like sometimes, using the, the postal service again, uh, sometimes you can mail something and it doesn't get to the other end. Well, how do you explain that? Well, there are lots of explanations. You know, um, the mail, <laughs> there have been a lot of news stories that I've heard where, you know, these mailmen, they just get fed up. And there were, you know, stories where uh, these guys or girls, um, they die or, or retire or something like that. And, and their, their family finds hundreds or, you know, thousands of letters that these guys never delivered. Well, you, somebody had faith that when they put that letter in, in the mailbox, that it would get to the other end and it never did. Apparently, System is fallible, right? So now, when we talk about others, you know, let's let's move into the realm of science. Uh, science supposedly always works, right? Supposedly, gravity gravity always works. Well, unless this happens or unless that happens. Uh, but for the most part, our experiences on Earth are that holding something in your hand, you let it go, it's going to fall to the ground, right? Um, but, you know, it, it, but our explanation is that, you know, gravity is X, because somebody told us. Do we really know? Have we done 
the research that they've done to really know that you know gravity works the way it works now don't get me wrong I'm not saying science doesn't exist it's it's a read for all of us um, I'm just saying that the argument for science can also be used uh, in argument for religious beliefs in that there are observations there are experts who who claim that it's real and there are our own experiences <clears throat> that that tell us that you know there is something there that makes me believe this way so don't discount religion by using I mean you may come up with a compelling argument why religion doesn't exist or why uh, a higher being doesn't exist and that's fine but the arguments that are being used against it don't hold up when you apply them to things that people who say religion doesn't exist but say science does exist those two arguments uh, can't kind of kind of rule each other out the, the, the same things that can be said that science does exist can be used to say that religious beliefs religion does exist and in the same token you don't have to agree with that that is the belief of some people um, and, and I'm just kind of putting that out there so uh, it, it, it's kind of an irony in a lot of people who aren't religious I had a debate one time with uh, somebody who posted something on one of my friends uh, Facebook postings or something like that and he got all bent out of shape because you know he was an atheist and he said and I said well I asked him well what do you believe in and he's like well I, I believe that you know things basically he said things just happen randomly you know there is no um, a rhyme or reason why things happen um, you know coincidence and stuff like that and it's like well then that's your belief system so you have a religion and and it didn't compute to him he, he you know he got all bent out of shape and it's like look I'm not saying it's a bad thing I'm not saying you're a bad person I'm not I'm just saying don't fool yourself and think that you're not a religious person because you don't believe in in Jesus or or a God or any God <clears throat> uh, but that that really shakes people up because <laughs> because here's the key it shakes up their belief system <laughs> I just you know I, I just wanted to point that out there um, I don't know why people get get so wound up in in technicalities um, you know I, I do too I, I get wound up in, in technicalities but it, it's uh, sometimes it's it's just so obvious to me that I, I can't help but just just kind of mention that just kind of throw it out I just leave that right there for a minute and uh, it, it shakes people up and it, as I've said from the beginning of this series I'm not I'm not trying to convince anybody uh, to believe what I believe I'm I'm expressing my beliefs as part of my faith um, that you know part of my faith says that I I should share um, my faith so so as to open debate open a conversation and that's that's what this is all about <clears throat> if, if you think I'm wrong let me know I'm wrong make a you know make a video response leave a comment but what what do you think about the point of view that even though people don't believe they still have a belief system so in essence they they do have a religion So ponder that on this 
Sunday as you're watching this video. And uh, stay safe out there. It's it's uh, winter in full swing, and and I know some of my northern state friends are are dealing with much worse than I am today. So stay safe and God bless. Take care. Bye.